Introduced in this latest version, the Create Balustrade tool gives you a big freedom to create balustrade subjects. Basically, the Create Balustrade tool can be used in two ways. To create balustrade on the side of the selected stairs, to create balustrade from the selected polyline. Here is a simple example to explain the new function offered by this tool. As can be seen, the stair rests against one of the perimeter walls of the building, where there are two doors corresponding to the landings. We will insert balustrade along the left side of the stair only where necessary, while the balustrade will be continuous on the right side. First of all, let's select the stair object and click on the Create Balustrade tool. A dialog window appears, quite similar to the one included in the stair setting dialog window. But in this case, we can click to select the part where we want to insert the balustrade so we can select just the piece of the element we need. First of all, let's select the sides where we want to insert the elements. We can click on the first side of the first step and then by holding the shift key we can click on the side of the landing. All the included side will be selected. Now let's define an internal offset and the balustrade height. Finally click on the insert balustrade button. Switch to the edit mode by clicking on the second button and click on the selection setting button. The setting dialog options are just the same of the standard method, but in this case we have a fully control on the navel positioning. So click on the navel definition button and here we can find the positioning button. Click on it and in the appearing window we can see a preview of our balustrades. On the right we can define the distance between the navels and all the available options to handle the navel positioning. As soon as we define all the parameters, just click on the Calculate Position button to update the preview and check the result. Then, confirm by clicking on the OK button. In the Post definition, we can set the distance between the post. Let's confirm all the settings using the OK button. Now, on the second flight that follows the perimeter wall of our house, we want to insert just an handrail. So, once again, click the side where we want to insert the handrail. Define the internal offset and click on the Insert Balustrade button. Switch again to the Edit mode and select the balustrade, then click on the Selection Setting button. First of all, let's choose the proper handrail shape. Then, disable the road display. Disable also the post display option by choosing the empty post style. In the Naval Definition panel, let's select the proper support. Finally, let's decide the positioning rules. Now the balustrade definition for this side is ended, so click on the OK button. The new handrail object appears in the plane and here is the result in the 3D windows. Now let's come back to the plan. We want to define the balustrade on the right side of our stair and, in this case, the balustrade follows also the perimeter of the final slab used to represent the top landing. We used a simple orchid polyline, this red one, to define our balustrade in the plan. Let's select the polyline, the stair and the final slab and click on the Create Balustrade tool. A different preview appears, showing you the result of your selection. The red segments represent the sloping part of the balustrade. The black ones represent the horizontal part. The offset value in this case should be set to zero, just because the polyline already defined the correct balustrade position. Finally, let's confirm the current settings. And here it is, the result. In this example, we are going to create the balustrade using just the polyline method. As you can see, 
the balustrade start from the stair elements and then follow the above slab. So, as we are already seeing, select the polyline, the stair and the slab and click on the Create Balustrade tool. The curve approximation configuration appears just because Archistair detected some curved side in the selected polyline. Let's confirm the setting and click on the OK button. Just the same with the second polyline. Select the polyline, the stair and the slab and click on the Create Balustrade tool. The curve approximation configuration appears just because Archistairs detected some curved side in the selected polyline, so let's modify the main value. Let's confirm the settings and click on the OK button. And here is it, our result. In this last example, we can see how this stair already includes two balustrades. But the stair width is really big, so we could decide to insert a third central balustrade. No trouble at all by using Archistair. Here we have the polyline that defines where the balustrade should be inserted. Select the polyline and the stair and click on the Create Balustrade button. And here it is the result. Now let's undo this element creation and let's select the second polyline we have in the plan just to show how Archistair can elaborate also complex shape providing you with a big freedom in your design. And here it is.